after creating the database and table, we have been working to it. Let's now create a Java class that will connect the database in the form. So let's go back again to the projects tab. And then make sure that the class you're going to create is inside the project that you recently created, which is the login project. And then right click on it on the package inside the project. Then click click new and choose Java class. Let's name our class connection. This is the how it would look like. Let's click on here and write our source code to connect the database in the form. Let's make the method public. So we could access the method inside this class even if we are outside the other class. Connection. Connection is a class inside the Change it to asterisk for future, future reference to avoid the same problem just if in case we're going to use a method like this one connect db is a method under the connection class in this java.sql that asterisk this connection class is one of the built-in class under the SQL or SQL that we are importing in order to uh, connect to our database. So by doing so, there's no need for us to uh, create our the user and method since it is already available in the SQL class the built-in one and that makes our task easier it's broken and let's continue writing the source code Just if in case 
um, the value for our con is now this is how our program will behave so we're actually creating the method here same column at the end. tab again and then click on our create a database right click down here and choose properties in the properties dialog box go to the database url click on the ellipsis and then copy the of our database, highlight it, control C in the keyboard, and close, close, and then paste it in the source code or control V in the keyboard. To be sure of the actual location of our database. The second parameter we're going to place here the username and password. Username for the second and for the third password. Third parameter. Remember that when you create the database earlier, you place the username and password for your database. Remember. name of our database and then we also place start the password for the database so we not confused with the username and password that we created for our form this is for the database and so then we the return form this is now how our program would be a if the connection is successful well, what happened if uh, for example we do not find it right
should the check be bearing so what happened if this is how we write our code so you see the um, symbol here now we sitting in again click on enter on the keyboard there's a suggestion again this make the net means user friendly to the programmer you could just simply click what you need for example we will be needing the try catch here so we choose to run statement with try catch Instead of typing the try catch block, just like what we did earlier, we just simply do that. Okay, so we can lessen the coding. to read so let's arrange it that way so we have now the try and catch Notice the additional import utilities. So we have the block pass and the level and the logger method. So we're going to use it here in our source code. That's the reason why we are importing the block in class of the Java utility. So this is now our Java class connect our form and the database so to complete this we need to create an event to our login button in our login form so we'll go to our login form 